Cape May has always been a very welcoming place, a very diverse place. You know, there's, uh, there's fishermen, there's people that own second homes that are pretty fancy houses, there's people that work in hotels, and everyone, because it's so small, is hanging out together. So Congress Hall is the oldest seaside hotel in America, and it dates back to 1816. And it began uh, with a, a gentleman named Thomas Hughes. His father was the postmaster in town and ran a little tavern on this site right here. And the son said, you know, I want to set up a house, a boarding house where people can come resort. And everyone thought he was crazy. They're like, well, who's going to come here? But he built this property and he initially called it the big house. And he was successful. And people came and he enlarged it. And then in 1828, Thomas Hughes was elected to the U.S. House of Representatives as Cape May County's first congressman. And so they started calling it Congress Hall in honor of his uh, having gone to Washington. Congress Hall has had about six, six to eight different owners in 200 years. One of the longest was the Knight family, and uh, Annie Knight inherited the hotel from her father. And for us, you know, to tell the story of a place that um, transcends the generations, it's, it's really heartwarming, you know? And, and for me, when I took on this project in the mid-90s and was trying to renovate the hotel and it was in a pretty rundown state, there were a lot of times I wish I could talk to Annie Knight. There have been four U.S. presidents that stayed in Congress Hall or visited here through the years. So there, there's a lot of things that have happened through the years here at Congress Hall.